Hello everyone and welcome to BISP Solutions. I am CA Sanjana Mishra working as the lead functional consultant at BISP Solutions. I specialize in synthesizing and analyzing the financial data. I have seven years of experience in NetSuite, HFM, FCCS. BISP Solutions is a tech company providing technological solutions across the globe. We have a far-flung proficiency in end-to-end -end implementation and support. Today we'll be looking at uh, writing a check into the Oracle NetSuite application. Uh, in the NetSuite application, we use the write check transactions to issue checks to pay uh, an expense or a record uh, or to record a non-check transactions. Now, these transactions can be to reimburse an employees, uh, reimburse the employees for the expenses, uh, pay vendors if you do not use the accounts payables, uh, then record cash transactions if you're recording only cash, cash transactions, you're working on cash basis. Uh, enter non-check uh, debits, that is any debit card, example, uh, debit card transactions, etc. So these are a few of the transactions uh, which uh, you are or you will be using the write the writing a check uh, into the Oracle NetSuite application. Now moving on into the NetSuite application. Uh, so this is the NetSuite application. Uh, into the transactions, you will find the write checks under the bank uh, head. Uh, write checks. So from here, uh, you can actually uh, write a check for maybe to pay an employee for an expense, to pay a vendor, to pay a customer or something. Uh, from here, the standard check form has been selected. Of uh, You can uh, customize your own uh, check form uh, based on your organization's preferences and the information that you would like to actually enter into the uh, check information. So this is the standard check form. A transaction number is automatically generated. Uh, the account, if you have uh, two or more than two bank accounts or more than one current uh, account that you have into your organizations, if you are a multi-subsidiary company and even if you're not a multi-subsidiary company, if you have more than uh, one bank account, if you're uh, operating on more than one bank account, uh, so you are going to choose which bank account, from which bank account you are going to uh, take, I mean, make the payment from. And the balance automatically appears from here. Now comes the list of the pays. Who do you want to pay? So here I would like to pay uh, one of the vendor uh, for so a commission needs to be paid to this particular uh, vendor. Uh, yes, so the amount. Now the subsidiary has been automatically populated uh, based on the selection of the vendor. The vendor that we had selected, uh, the subsidiary is automatically populated. Moving on to the amount, uh, $2,500, the amount for which I would like to pay uh, the vendor, the commission for any exchange rate, if uh, there is a difference into the reporting entered and functional currencies, then exchange the, you can use the spot exchange rate, current exchange rate, average rate, whatever rate you would like to use, you can put up the exchange rate over here, uh, date on which you are entering the transaction and the posting period. Now this to be printed uh, is to be used when you are just creating the check and you are going to print it at some later point. And if you are going to print the check as and when you have made it, that is I have just created the check and I want to print it uh, simultaneously. So you are not going to check this particular, particular to be printed box. But since I would be uh, printing this particular check it at a later date, maybe tomorrow or day after tomorrow, or uh, we print checks on Monday or something. Uh, there can be various policies. So I am not going. I'm not going to uh, just immediately uh, print the check. Hence, I am uh, checking the to be printed box. So this check number will automatically be uh, used when you are printing the check, or else uh, you can actually provide a specific check number to this particular check. You can give a specific check number to this particular check. And here, uh, any memo if you would like to uh, provide. Yes, and uh, subsidiary is automatically selected. 
any open air expense if you would like to enter over here now comes the expenses in the items tab uh, now into the items if you have certain items that you would like to enter into this particular check you can of course do that or the expenses if you are reimbursing for an expense or any expense that you are actually paying you can select it from the account now here as i had informed you i am creating it for a commission payable so i am going to uh pay commission to this particular vendor um just a moment yes so this is the account for which i would like to pay uh, this is the expense for which i would like to pay this particular vendor and any else if you would like to add a memo department class location customer billable related or set or something any kind of information if you would like to provide you can of course provide depending on the expenses that you are selecting or the uh, account that you are selecting and uh, in case had i uh, been using it as in in form of the item that is i'll be if i wanted to populate it with an item i could just use the item also over here uh now here is the pay address uh, landed cost if you are using a landed cost uh relationships communication events and any thing other thing information that you would like to actually provide you can of course provide for that and the expenses for 2500 we have actually done and now i would like i am going to save this particular check so this particular check has been saved so this is the check which we have just created as you can see this is the memo that we had just put and this is the amount uh so this is the check that we have just now uh, created so my check has been created now i can based on my choice on my company policies for printing the check or whatever is the uh, situation i can actually print this particular check on any further date or uh, at any other day or maybe today in the evening or something so i can actually uh print this particular check at any uh, other time than when i am creating it because i had check, uh, checked the to be printed uh, box this is uh, checked and hence we can just print it at uh, any further uh, date or any at any later point of time so as you can see the it shows to print that means this check needs to be printed hasn't been printed so this was all from my side on print uh, writing a check in the oracle netsuite application in case of any queries uh, consultation doubts or any uh, information you can of course get back to us at www.bispsolutions.com thank you so much